Believe it or not guys, Pekka Ramrider is back and the reason why is as a lot of you guys know because of the Dagger Duchess beatdown is very good and Pekka Ramrider is one of the few things that is pretty consistent against beatdown overall, especially things like Golem Pump and that new Giant Pump deck with the Night Witch because the Baby Dragon of course very good against the Night Witch and then even against Lava pretty good counter to that too because lava decks often have the balloon and of course the ram rider very good against the balloon slowing it down and then the balloon just has a very difficult time getting through and then there's even a lot of e-giant here and there in this meta too so in general pekka ram just doing very good against a lot of those decks which is why i saw there's plenty of people running it inside of the top 100 so that's a pretty good sign that Pekka is back and in a pretty good spot in this meta. Makes sense too because Pekka recently ended up getting that range buff which really, you know, helped her out as well. So, we're against a giant skeleton deck here. Maybe this guy's running... I don't actually know what this is yet. Maybe it's Goblin Giant because he's got the minions, the bomber. It could be RG too, but RG normally wouldn't be played with the minions. So... I am actually not too sure what this is. I guess we're in for a little bit of a surprise, potentially. I'm just going to go for a zap here just to get something cycled, and we're getting to that evolve zap a, bit, a little bit quicker. And then we'll get a knight going here, and he's actually going to go, yeah, go in for the gob giant. That's what I was thinking. I had a feeling he was using the goblin giant. So let's get the little prince coming in here. It's going to knock back that goblin giant a little bit. Kind of unfortunate I didn't have it lined up. If I had it one tile more to the left, we would have been able to push it back further, but that's all good. That'll suffice, I think. And the fisherman's going to pull the little prince's guardian, and it's also going to take care of that knight. So we're not going to get a whole lot going for us there, but that's okay. We're going to go baby dragon, and I'm curious if Ooh, he's going to go in for a giant skelly. That's going to force a Pekka out of me. So that's a little bit unfortunate because now he could maybe go in for a goblin giant, take advantage of me having my Pekka out of rotation. But let's see. Maybe we could instead apply pressure on his end. Maybe he was trying to go in, but okay. That gob giant is going to get defended really easily by the ram rider slowing it down. Ooh, so close to connecting, but the fisherman barely pulled it in time. That was a bit unfortunate. Let's keep up the pressure here, though. See if we can maybe force a lot out of him. Like, he's probably, yeah, I was going to say go in for a giant skelly, but I'm completely fine with that. Zap on top of the minions, and we might get a little bit of chip damage on the tower. We forced the evolved bomber out of him. I'm completely fine with, oh, wow, even though the giant skelly, look at that. That was a lot of damage. Even though the giant skeleton... The bomb hit everything. It pushed a lot of the stuff forward, which actually benefited me. I'm going to go in for a lightning here because I bet he wanted to really use that guardian. And look at this. We get the ram rider to the tower. Zap on the minions. Evo zap is going to kill them entirely. And that, I think, might actually be tower down. There we go. It's going to be a fairly easy game one for us. Okay, so we're in our next game here. We're just going to go ahead. We're just going to cycle a zap. That should be a fine starting play always nice to get to the evos as quick as you can he's got a knight and a bomber so i don't know what this is but it's looking like it's probably gonna be oh wow i was gonna say it was gonna be some type of heavy deck or drill and it is going to be giant so we're gonna get a, another beatdown deck first game we got gob giant now we're getting the regular giant and let's see how this goes. I think this deck should be a solid counter to it, especially if he's got the Night Witch, because the Baby Dragon is probably one of the best counters in the game to the Night Witch. He does have the Bowler, though. The Bowler is a nice counter to the Ram Rider, so we're going to have to watch out for that, of course, because the Bowler just kind of blocks the lane, keeps pushing the Ram back. But when he doesn't have it in cycle... Or we just maybe get a lightning down or making sure we're supporting the Ram Rider. We might be able to break through it. So let's see what happens. Maybe we go in for a Ram Rider here. Could potentially be a decent play, especially when the Duchess uses all of her... Uh, I think let's just, let's just take it slow. I think that's the safer play here. We'll go Bar Barrel on that Knight to make sure that we dealt enough damage to it so the Duchess can deal with the rest. And we'll go for a little Prince now. He's got arrows. Okay. He might be using the giant variation without pump because he's got the bowler. That's what I'm thinking. He's going to go in for the phoenix. So he's not going to have night witch. So this variation is probably going to be slightly harder to beat, but I still think it's probably not a bad matchup at all. So let's see how it goes. We're just going to go in for a lightning here. I just want to get rid of that. I think it's worth it. 
because he's still probably going to have to deal with this. And yeah, it's not like he could have gone in for a giant because I'd just go for a P.E.K.K.A. on it. And he used his bowler. That's very good because now I might be able to go Ram Rider and try to get a counter push going off of this. I think this is a really good time because now we're in double so we can actually support the Ram pretty efficiently. We're going to get a Zap going on top of the Evo Bomber and he went for a Lightning. I don't think that's going to be enough. Ram Rider is going to get a big time connection on the tower. You know what I'm going to do? It's pretty risky, but I'm going to light because he just spent a lot of elixir and i wanted to get rid of that evo knight so the ram could keep you know just accumulating damage there and we managed to do that get more damage so the question is can we defend as long as i defend then that was probably a pretty good play i don't know though if we're going to be able to let's see what happens the pekka is going to have to carry here hopefully she can i think she probably is going to yeah actually the pekka Wow, absolutely bailed me out there. Even though I overcommitted with the Lightning, Pekka was getting so much value against all those tanks. The Knight was down, the Guardian from the Little Prince, the Giant didn't matter. She was able to get the job done. That was pretty nice. And he decided to go Giant in the other lane. I'm thinking of pressuring here because he's going to have a pretty hard time dealing with this, I feel like. I'm going to get a Lightning going here. This should be pretty solid. And yeah, even though he is going to be able to defend this, now he's not, and actually he's not even going to be able to defend it. You look at that, he still had to commit a little prince, so he wasn't even finished defending it. Yeah, look at that. Knight is going to be more than enough on that giant in the right lane. I'm fine with him getting a little bit of damage because at this point, all we need is probably just two more lightnings to get this win. Yeah, I can go for a lightning on top of that bowler. It might seem a little risky, but now we're literally just one lightning away. And because we are almost in triple elixir, I'm fairly confident we can lightning cycle. I can just go in for an Evo zap on the tower when I have my lightning in cycle or it's the next card away. And then we can finish the game off. That's definitely going to be more than enough. So let's get the Evo zap going, going for the lightning. And that's going to be another fairly easy win against another beatdown deck. All right, we could probably just start with a knight in the back here. I think it's just good to get to the evos as soon as possible. That's typically what you want to do, especially when you have something like the knight and the zap. I mean, they're cheap, so there's pretty much no risk. And this guy's got Valk. Okay, haven't seen Valk in a while, so kind of curious to see what this is. Not really sure. I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't know if I could even take a guess. I might just go Ram Rider here because the Duchess used all of her ammo, so seems like just a... Nice little test to see what other cards he has. Because he's got Rocket, kind of making me think he's got Bait. So this would be kind of interesting. Bait. We have Barbarrel and Zap. So we have a couple good small spells. I mean, I guess the Zap, to be fair, isn't doing a whole lot against things like Barrels and whatnot. Especially if there's a tank for them. But we do have the Lightning if he's got an Inferno. So I guess we'll see. Okay, what? Xy. Maybe he's got Hog. Maybe it's Hog Xy. That would probably make the most sense, but that's hmm, kind of surprising. Haven't seen that in a while, but I do think that is what it is. So we got to try to make sure that Xy doesn't get a lot of value. It's going to be pretty good against the Baby Dragon, though, and the Little Prince. So that might be a little bit unavoidable, having it not get value against those things. We're going to go Ram Rider here, slow down the Hog. The Hog, I feel like, is not really that good because of the Duchess just gets taken out so easily see that there to be fair though you can make the argument with the ram rider but at least the ram rider gets that charge in before she dies unless she's addressed and that is why you have two tanks in this deck the up oh, 10 percent oh whoa, dang well we better uh try to win quickly before our our uh our, our ipad dies here that would be quite unfortunate if we lost connection right before the game ended or something. I think we'll be fine, though. I'm pretty sure that's at least five minutes of life. Anyway, we're just going to go Pekka here on top of the Hog. And he's got the Evo Ice Spirit. Wow, that has been a very long time since I've seen that thing. So I'll tell you what, let's try to get some dual lane pressure going here. So we have a Pekka going in one lane, and then we have the Evo Knight Ram going in the other. The problem is, man, wow, that Evo Valk is brutal brutal against that ram that just killed it wow that just this is really kind of changing my perspective of the evo val because it's one of the worst evos but it's like when the situation is good she seems broken so it's just one of those things where it's just like situational when you're against a ram rider or something it's really putting in work that's for sure 
So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what we want to do here. I'm trying to get as much lightning value as I can. Yep, see, when he does that, I'm going to take that lightning every time. So, that's kind of what I was what I was waiting for there. I want to get an Evo Zap going to kill that Xe, And then also hit the tower. So, the way we win this might be spells. If we can't get our Ram Rider through. It's just good old-fashioned lightning cycle. I mean, sometimes that can be a decent play. Especially in triple... I feel like you can't really go wrong with Lightning Cycle because you're able to afford more Lightning, so you might as well. He's going to go Hog right into the P.E.K.K.A. We'll see how that works out for him. I'm going to go in for the Guardian here, so that way there's no chance that Hog gets a connection. Xy though, is probably going to kill everything, unfortunately. It's going to take everything out really easily. Let's see, we're going to go Baby Dragon here. He's going to go in for the Evo Valk and Hog. We're going to need to get a Lightning down for sure. With the Bar Barrel, that is going to be more than enough. And just like that, we're still maintaining a very, very small lead. It's a small lead, but it's there. It's there, so I'll take it. Now, here's what we want to make sure. We want to make sure he's not able to get rockets on the tower easily so if we force him to have to rocket on defense that's very good he rocketed but it didn't hit the evo knight so it forced a valk out of him which is great we're gonna do this here get a ram rider going and i knew he was gonna go in for a hog that's why i really wanted to make sure to get the ram rider down and that's another lightning for me if i can actually afford it can we get a lightning going boom we're gonna hit the xc that is exactly what i wanted Oh my goodness, we're going to go Knight to block the bridge, because he's going to want to, yep, I knew he was going to want to get a Valk Hog going, or something along those lines. He went in for a rocket, so we got to make sure to put the pressure on, so he can't rocket cycle, at least not easily. <laughs> that is the last thing I want. I do not want to get rocket cycled out, and it's not going to happen. Lightning's going to do it. That's going to be GG, and with that, that'll also be the video too. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed it, and make sure to give Pekka Ram Rider a try, because I definitely do think it is back, and this guy is spamming well played. He is definitely not happy right now. I don't blame him though.